Hey there, today is June 26th, Tuesday, um, here at B Hill, Sawgrass Marriott Resort and Spa, Apiary, and I'm here to talk to you about a laying order situation. And right behind me I have a colony that's got uh, three deeps on it, deeps being the size of the box. This colony is went queenless, uh, they superseded her and they weren't able to successfully make a new queen um, in a situation where we have laying workers now really quick a laying worker situation is where all all the rest of the bees the worker bees they're all female so they all have they all have eggs that that are just not fully developed over areas that are not fully developed so what happens when the queen is not there is they they actually develop their eggs and they start laying um, unfortunately they're not mated and they can never be mated so all of their babies are drones and we know what drones do so the colony is doomed in order to correct a laying worker colony you, you can't just put a new queen in there that's mated you can't do any of that because they'll kill her it's it's nigh impossible to do that uh, and correct a worker laying worker colony some things that I've tried in the past were, were like what you would hear uh, beekeepers may suggest to you to take your colony and dump it on the other side of your apiary and the bees that come back are bees that aren't laying workers. Well, you know, I've done that a few times. It's quite messy and guess what? Still had problems with introducing queens. What I would suggest is one thing you can do is disassemble the colony by taking a frame here and a frame there and if you have enough other colonies that are strong queen right, donating those frames to those colonies as, as resource frames with resource bees because they'll be tamed into those, those colonies that are queen right and operating properly. Now, what if you want to actually keep the colony the way it is? Because I, I kind of like this situation that I see in there. There's lots of bees. Lots of things are drawn out really well, and to be honest, all my other colonies are pretty darn full right now. Quite simply, I'm just going to upload a nucleus colony that's queen right right in the middle, and it'll fix everything. So, good luck to you beekeepers out there, and um, I hope you never have to deal with a laying worker hive. But if you do, you know this is definitely one of the solutions. the queen is you can tell by where the bees have gathered that this area is um, where the predominant amount of uh, retinue or queen mandibular pheromone uh, is centralized 